Every great piece of work starts with a secure foundation, and the foundation for all works of knitting is done through a process called casting on. In this video, I will teach you how to do three basic methods to cast on your stitches in preparation for knitting. Stay tuned for more advanced methods in the future. Casting on is simply how you get stitches onto the needle in the first place, long before actually knitting your piece of fabric. In addition to that, Casting on is in fact your first row of stitches without any knitting required. The stitches contained within the row you have cast on are sometimes referred to as the bottom selvage. The single cast on is named as such because it creates only one stitch and one row at a time. Securing your yarn with the last two to three fingers, you will bring a loop of yarn around your thumb and then pick up the lower strand with the tip of your needle. Next, you will slide the yarn off of your thumb and gently tighten the feeding yarn so the stitch will be snug on the needle. In a later video, I will show you how to cast on in pattern. Similar to how the previous cast on method was named, the double cast on creates two stitches, one on top of the other. And once you have all of your stitches cast on, you will have essentially created not one, but two completed rows. For this method, you are going to need a long tail of yarn. Take the tail end and have it come around the back of your thumb. With the feeding yarn going over your index finger. Be sure to secure the tail and your feeding yarns with the use of your fingers. With this V-shaped form, you will take the tip of your needle and bring it underneath the outermost strand of the tail yarn, skipping the middle strand, and then over and catching the feeding yarn around your index finger. The loop we created with the feeding yarn will be brought down and pulled through the loop we created with the tail yarn. Once you pull it through, slide it off of your thumb and gently tug it to tighten the stitches onto your needle. Before I proceed, did you know that you can do both of these without a slip stitch? That's right. All you have to do is simply just hold onto the tail end of your yarn when doing the single cast on. As for the double cast on, you will hold the first loop over your needle using the index finger or thumb on the same hand you were holding the needle with. Once you have cast on 3 to 5 stitches, you will no longer need to hold onto the tail yarn as you proceed to cast on the remaining stitches for your project. This way of casting on creates a very firm selvage and is quite literally knitted onto your needles. As a result, you will need both of your needles readily available. This creates a selvage which is excellent for pieces of work which need a firm edge such as scarves and afghans. To start, secure your yarn with the use of a slip knot. You will insert your needle into the slip knot and bring your yarn over your inserted needle. Next, draw up a loop and slide it onto the other needle. Then, you will insert your needle in between these two stitches we formed, tightening the loop, and draw up a loop, slipping it onto the same needle as before. The way we made our third stitch is how we will make the rest of our stitches for our project. Once you have finished casting on your stitches, is when you will start making your primary fabric. Stay tuned to check out this video here on learning the basic stitches, known as knits and purls. Thanks again. Subscribe and stay tuned, and don't forget to check what we have posted in the community tab of our channel, please. See you around.